hello everyone and welcome back again so this is the android studio tutorial video and this we are going to know how to open the react native project in android studio how to create the emulator and also how to install the sdk tools ndk and other stuff about the android studio so the react native developer or the mobile app developer should know about these things so i do not want to waste your time so let's start with the practical so this is my project you can see i just open in the uh, vs code so i want to open the so i want to open in an android studio so for that i'm going to the my launch and just click on your android studio in the first we have the welcome screen of the android studio and you can also create a new project and open uh, from here and also you can clone the repository and then we have a customization phase and also you can use your android studio in the dark mode and the light mode so just click on the light mode you can see it's come to the light mode then we have a plugins plugins and extension in the vs code are similar so that's uh, you can use the plugins also in the android studio then we have a learn tab and this is the setting tab so first i want to show you how can you open the project just click on the projects so this is my the react native project and this is a android studio so this is the android project or android uh, folder and just click come here just drag and drop it to the android studio like this you can see so now you can see we just open the react native project to the android studio so first we have a project these are the files in the project we have and then we have a comments uh, the comments is for the git and how many comments you have done and push your code or not so this is the so you, this is the pull you can also pull the uh, changes from uh, any other branch and this is the bookmark so we do not need to know about the comments and the pull request and the bookmark because these things we can handle from the vs code this is the more buttons or the sections like we have a run and debug structure service profile so I, I will teach you one by one so the first we have a build so this is the build like we are uh, running our app and the VS code also the first day run the build.gradle so these are the same you can also rerun again so now I have phase the two error from the node you can see node command and then we have a app quality and the app quality we have a firebase crash analytics and they have android vitals android vitals will connect your android studio to the google play console and then we have a crash firebase crash analytics if you add the crash analytics in your project so you can see the uh, logs and other things and this and then we have a logged so if you have a log and you want to see your logs so you can uh, see in, in here so this is the terminal we can also run our app from the terminal if you want to run your app just tap the like this griddle assemble debug so it will be run from the here also so we do not need to run now last one is the git so the last one is the git so you can see the branches and then we can see the comments of all in the local and remote so now i'm going to teach you this top bar also the first we have a android and the android you can see this is your project you can also click on the another another project or the recent project you can also open this from here and the second we have a main so second we have a main and the main you can see you can see your uh, comment and you can see update the project and comment push and can, you can also create a new branch and you can also see in your branch we now we are in the main branch so uh, after that we have a configuration so you need to configure your android studio so like this you can configure and this is for the run your project and this is for the debug your project and you can also add the more action and here you just click on this you can also add the more action in, in this tab also and this is the assemble run configuration so this is the attached debugger to the android process so this will be attached the uh, debugger to the android process and then we have a sync the griddle like uh, this is the same like uh, we are doing this and this is the same like uh, we are doing from here also sync and then we have a search we need to search about something and your android studio you can search so in the last one we have a setting 
So this is the most important tab. Like we have a run editing, we have a SDK manager, project structures, settings and plugins and all the things we have there. So first I will show you the SDK manager in this. Just click and this is the uh, the first we have a appearance and behavior. So this is the related to the Android Studio uh, uh, setting. And then we have a key maps. So we do not need this also editors. So this is the general uh, tools for the editor. How can you uh, code editor fonts gen So this is the general thing. We do not need these things. And this is the plugins. And I already told you the plugins and extension. This is the version control and build execution and languages. You can also add the more languages and other things. And this is the, and now this is the SDK tool. You, you already seen the SDK, like how could we need to SDK to run the Android app. So for the Java also, from here you can download your SDK version. Like you can see now I just download the SDK platform 36 also, and also 35. And this is also, you can see 34, I already downloaded. And this is the SDK tools. Like we have a SDK tools also, and all in there we have NDK also, like let me show you CMAC. This is my the CMAC version and let me show you the NDK also. So this is our so this is our NDK. You can see the NDK version is 26 and 27. The, let me show you these version or this SDK why we are going to install these versions. So let's show you in the Android app. Just search about the build.gradle. So these are the, you can see the NDK version. We need to install the NDK version 20, uh, 27 and then target SDK. We need to 35 and the Kotlin version. We need to 2.0.21 uh, and build tool version is this. So we need to download these things for running the Android app. And this is, and then we have a SDK update size. You can also update your all SDK. These are the how can you download the SDK and install the ND SDK like this. You just if you want to install the SDK of the 33, just click on this and just uh, OK. And now you just click and that will be downloaded automatically the SDK 33. So now we, I do not need the SDK 33. Just cl click cancel. So now I'm going to show you how can you create the simulator uh, of your choice. So for that, just click on the device manager. And just come here and you can see add the new device or you can also click on this add the new device create the virtual devices yes so it will be open this device uh, page and then we have a phones and then we have a tablets a wear os desktop tv xr you can see anything we have just click on the phone and we need the medium size just click just click on the medium and just next and it say you need to download the Google Play RM64, but I do not need because I just click on this, click and finish. I uh, yes, and just accept. Click on the accept also, and next. Download this uh, required SDK automatically. Uh, so just wait for the moment. Now we can see with the name of the medium phone, uh, we have one emulator. Just click on this. A play button so you can see I cannot open the emulator because of the I don't have enough space so let me clear the space so let me delete the trashes so now I can open the again let me click so now you can see they're launching the emulator first time it will take us some time to launch the emulator now you can see this is our emulator let me uh, let me hide this so this is our emulator you can see you can see this is my emulator you can also run from the here just come to a terminal and just pass the gradle door assemble just click so you can see i just faced some system issue so let me close this so now i'm going to the vs code and run the app again and here just print yarn android so it will be open the emulator automatically when you create the emulator we have already the emulator you can see this is our emulator this is you can see just open the emulator automatically 
So this is all about the Android Studio tutorial. So like this we can create the emulator and we can install the SDK and other tools. But I have some issue in my own project. So for that reason I cannot run uh, the project. So this is for today and see you in next video for the new topic and new things.